Is listening to books just a lazy form of reading? Is it cheating? And is it even the same as physically reading a book? Well, today, once and for all, we find out. Let's start with the technical stuff because I just know that is where your brain is right now. So if we want to get technical, which is a bit boring if I'm honest, then reading a book with your eyes is a different cognitive experience than listening to one with your ears. When reading a book with your eyes, you're decoding the letters on the page and interpreting them as words and sentences. You're also interpreting these in tone, pace, emphasis, and the characters' voices and dialogue. While you're reading, your brain does all of this work. However, when you're listening to a book, the narrator does all of this. So even though you're getting the story, someone else is deciding how it's delivered. Your brain still does a lot of the work either way though. It still imagines the characters and their environments. Nobody decides that for you. It still interprets most of the words within the book, regardless of whether you or someone else is reading it. For example, if two characters are having a conversation, in an audiobook, the narrator gives you the tone of voice, pace, etc. But they don't interpret the characters' expressions or how they look for you. Your brain still does that. Then there are the very small differences in the reading experience. If you're listening to an audiobook, it's very hard to skim, or it's very hard to jump back if you feel like you've missed something. So you have to pay attention. And when reading a physical book, you might know how to spell certain names or places, but pronouncing them is up in the air. It's the opposite in an audiobook. You might know how to pronounce certain names and places, but how to spell them, you have no idea. An audiobook can be just as good as a physical book in terms of experience, but it is a different cognitive experience. Not better, just different. Okay, so let's set the technical stuff aside for now and let's look at why audiobooks count as reading from an experience perspective, just in case you need a little bit more convincing. So let's get the reading snobbery out of the way because whether you're listening to a book or reading one with your eyes, you're still experiencing the same story. The question is, do you as a reader place less value on somebody's experience of listening to a book than you do on the experience you have with reading with your eyes? The books are the same. The same story, the same ideas, it's just the way you're accessing them that's different. Nothing changes here. The story doesn't use different words. It's the same story. The only thing that changes is how you consume it. Let me put it another way. Does reading the Iliad count as reading? Because honestly, it was originally sung to music. So if audiobooks don't count as reading for you, then you'll have to go through your Goodreads list and double check every single book actually started out as written material first. Okay, with snobbery out of the way, let's move on to something incredibly important, and that is accessibility. Because audiobooks have created a way for so many people to enjoy and listen to books again. For those who are blind, visually impaired, or simply don't have the ability to read with their eyes, audiobooks are a fantastic alternative that makes reading actually accessible. Aside from braille, of course. Audiobooks also open the pathway for people with ADHD, ADD, dyslexia, and more to still enjoy reading. Audiobooks allow readers to do things with their hands, such as drawing, crafting, DIY, and more, while allowing their minds to focus on the story. Audiobooks also improve retention and prolonged interest where physical books might not. So it's not only that audiobooks allow more people to read, but also for more people to actually enjoy the experience of reading in a better way. Then let's talk about how difficult reading can sometimes be. When listening to an audiobook, the reader gets certain clues through tone and pace that they might not have got if they're just reading it on their own. While physically reading, some readers may struggle with this. So reading an audiobook is a great solution. Some readers even physically read and listen to an audiobook at the same time to help with this. Then there's a lack of time that some readers experience, whether this is family commitments or a job or a long commute or something else entirely. Listening to audiobooks allows them to still read and enjoy books while traveling, commuting, 
doing routine work, and so much more. So if we're looking for a resounding answer to whether audiobooks count as reading, then the answer is both yes and no. No, because the cognitive experience of listening to a book versus reading one with your eyes is different. But yes, because most of the books you are listening to are composed through writing, so you're still engaged with writing. It's just a minutely different experience, and I mean small. If I'm talking to you about reading a book, then it doesn't matter which medium I experienced it through. I couldn't tell you how to spell a character's name, but I can tell you whether I enjoyed the book and some of the themes within it, and that's what matters most. So if you listen to audiobooks, please continue to do so. And if you're talking to somebody and you've both read the same book, but you've listened to it and they've read it with their eyes, it's perfectly acceptable to say, yeah, I've read that too. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you and I will see you next time.